Hi, hello, uh, back again with a fun little drawing or like a cute little review. So I had recently got the Himi Mia Guasha as well as the Arches watercolor paper and I've used it before in like my last video for like my Valentine's Day thing, but I didn't really like understand the properties of the paper. Um, I just assumed it would work like any other watercolor paper. I really didn't think it through, <laughs> honestly. So with this one, I'm just going to be kind of studying it and uh, comparing it to my old watercolor paper, which was the Carson or Canson, whoops, <laughs> Canson watercolor paper. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be very much a learning experience and I hope, I don't know people find this interesting because for sure I definitely learned a lot with this and how like the paper works and how the paint interacts with like different type of paper so yeah hopefully everyone learned something from this uh this was very eye-opening because I was never someone that studied how watercolor paper works and interacts with different watercolor but you know in the meantime uh, let's take a quick commercial break hey you yeah you have you been using old paint because you're too lazy to buy new ones have you been wanting to try something new fun and different yeah well, have i got the news for you golly gee willikers how about trying the him and me go wash wow set? we Welcome back. So right off the bat, in comparing the two watercolor papers, um, the Canson paper is a lot smoother, while the Archer's paper is a lot, uh, it has like surface texture. So the Canson paper is made out of wood pulp, so that's why it's a lot of a smoother surface. And you know, I've been using this watercolor paper since high school, and I never really used a different watercolor paper. Um, but I realized it's like, I always thought it was really good with blending, but as you can see, it's not the greatest with blending. And that's cause you know, wood pulp isn't really used for blending in comparison with the Arches paper, which is 100% cotton, which is very, very good for blending and watercolor paper. Yeah, just working with the paints and everything. And I realized that like when you, first paint on the arches I'm not sure if this is for anybody else that uses paper but the paints will start off very dull but then they will dry very very vibrant and that's something that I enjoyed also like the texture of the paper kind of makes your piece a little bit more interesting so yeah as you can see the uh, Canson paper the shading isn't that great but the arches paper you could see that you could easily get those transitions between colors and I tried to use like all the different um, like wet on dry and then dry on wet type of technique com uh, combinations to really test out the paper. In regards to the paint, the Hemi Mia gouache set, I before only used the Reeves gouache set which I found was like very very thick and it was kind of like traditional gouache if that makes sense um while with the Himi Mia gouache set it was very opaque but it's very vibrant colors which is interesting but I feel like to get that like gouache feel you would have to layer the paints and I'm not really one for layering paints especially like water soluble paints like if it's like acrylic paint then I kind of go okay yeah I could do that but with like water-based paints I feel like that's a little bit harder to layer them on because it's like if your brush is too wet you could like mess up the underneath layer so um but I feel like it is still a really good paint set you know a lot of fun different colors and honestly this was just exciting to use to get out of my comfort zone of using the same I was using the Grievous gouache set for I want to say like five years five four years like I was using it for a long time and uh before I was using like crappy old like like student grade um watercolor paints 
instead of like a gouache paint but I feel like since I'm someone that uses gouache kind of as a watercolor anyway I feel like people that use um the Hemi gouache set as like gouache would be able to <laughs> would probably have a lot more fun time with this uh in terms of using it as like a gouache set so yeah uh very you know eye-opening very fun you know I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun with this uh this piece I honestly had no idea what I was doing with it <laughs> I kind of just winged it I was kind of like okay with something fun eye-opening to do and I was kind of like well I want to kind of get better with like full body um drawing so that's why he's a he's a little mermaid and all like the skeleton parts on him that was improvised <laughs> I finished the sketch and I was like you know it would make this a lot cooler and a lot more interesting <laughs> bones <laughs> So yeah, I, I did that. That was fun. And then the little skull at the bottom, really no reason for that one. I just needed to fill up the space because there's so much empty space in this piece. But uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun trying to learn how to use a new watercolor paper, new watercolor, a new like paints and everything. Very, very fun. So overall, I really, really like the Hemi Mia gouache set. I think it's really good. I think it's very fun, very vibrant. And uh, I feel like it's kind of like a good like beginner set of watercolor paints. You know, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's nothing too, too bad. So if you have the money for it, yeah, definitely check it out. Watch other reviews on it. Um, the Arches watercolor paper, which is a bit expensive, than the Canson watercolor paper, which is like really accessible to everybody. Um, it's really good. I liked it a lot. Uh, the blending was very, very fun. I still haven't nailed it yet. I'm still trying to get used to it. But if you have the money to splurge, try something different. Um, the Archer's watercolor paper is very, very fun to use. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later. Goodbye.